Welcome brothers and sisters to our Lenten series, Junk in the Yard, and we discuss the sin of lust. And believe it or not, one of the manifestations of this sin is ignorance and the superficiality of life. What do I mean by that? If we never reflect deeper on the meaning of our life, of being created by God, of being given the body and also soul. What is the meaning of our bodiness, of having sexuality, which is holy? In the plan of God, sexuality is the gift, is holy, is unique, is very, very uh, revered and special because through it, a male and a female become co-creators. There is a process of bringing new life into this world by the powers that God gave us, cooperating with the act of creation. When we learn the importance of our flesh, the fact that we are the temples of the Holy Spirit, the fact that God gave us sexuality as an enormous gift for unity of the spouses, for procreation, for the joy and happiness of the spouses and of the family, then we live sexuality in a very different way. But also, we stop living a life of superficiality, banality, but also we find out how many wounds, sufferings, and pains people experience because they got hurt in the aspect of their sexuality that oftentimes takes years to recover from. Therefore, let us remember, the more we find out about the meaning, the beauty, the importance of our sexuality, the holy gift of our bodiness, more we'll be able to see that God created us perfectly. As I'm learning the teaching of John Paul II, the theology of the body, I have learned that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Prayer has helped me a lot to have chastening within my relationship. Obviously, I am weak, I'm a woman, and to be able to just put it in practice, to ask the Holy Spirit to come and help me. As we know, in today's society, love can be misinterpreted in, in the very wrong ways. And that's something I have truly learned to be, that love is having God first. St. Jerome said that the ignorance of scriptures is the ignorance of Christ. Using this phrase, I may say that ignorance of the proper teaching of the church on the value and beauty of sexuality is truly a loss and confusion. As we are bombarded with a lot of contrary messages, images, and points of view in regards to human sexuality in our body, I would like to invite all of you to delve into the teaching of St. John Paul II entitled The Theology of the Body that in a beautiful, profound and clear way displays what the mission, the understanding of the human sexuality, the bodiness that we were given from God is. There are different good authors who skillfully break down the teaching of John Paul II into smaller units and allow these points to be clearly understood, giving them right understanding and at the same time clarity. For example, one of them is Christopher West, who's uh, podcasts and videos you can find on YouTube. Also, Jason Everett and his wife Kristalina Everett, who have been very active in bringing the 
understanding of the theology of the body to many campuses all around the world and in the country. You may find a podcast entitled The Chastity Project. In addition to them, you can find a lot of different sound Catholics who, having understood the teaching of the Church, the beauty, the splendor, the divine plan that is behind God creating us male and female, discover even their way back to the Church or discover the grandeurs teaching of the Church in regards to our sexuality. I recall one of the presenters, a priest, who was giving a lecture on the theology of the body of St. John Paul II, was approached by an older man after the lecture was concluded, and that person told him, how come no one told me that 40 years ago, when I was young, when I was committing a lot of mistakes and sins that later on caused me a lot of pain. I wish the message that you are spreading could be heard by today's generation. And therefore, brothers and sisters, I encourage you to go and search for different presentations on the theology of the body of St. John Paul II, as it's being interpreted and receives a proper understanding by many people, many theologians, and what is incredible, embraced and lived by the young people of today. God bless you, brothers and sisters, as we continue our Lenten series.